just after 7 o'clock, you're live on News at Prime. It's a pleasure to have you with us tonight. I'm Kathy Mutlachana. Plenty to get to in the next hour. Let's begin here. EFF leader Julius Malema is accusing the ANC of fabricating false stories of gender-based violence against him. He's now suing ANC MP Boy Mamabolo for a million rand after Mamabolo alleged that Malema has been abusing his wife. Malema, while dismissing the claims through a span in the works and instead turned his attention to President Cyril Ramaphosa, accusing him of having uh, assaulted his first wife. Our reporter Atim Tongana is on the stairs of Parliament. She joins me now uh, tonight. Let's try and make sense of all of this. Ati, some of the scenes that we're seeing highly condemned uh, by other MPs tonight in as far as uh, the level of conversation and the use of gender-based violence as a political tool. I wonder, what did these MPs have to say for themselves when they left the chambers today? Well, of course, Kathy, EFF leader Julius Malema rushing out after he was kicked out. Of course, remember, he uh, engaged in that gender-based violence debate. And shortly after that, he was asked to leave the House. And so when he left, uh, members of the media tried to... Uh, to go after him to really try to uh, get reaction from him but of course he had left before members of the media were able to get hold of him but i'm not alone kathy i have with me delisile ngwenya from the eff who's going to help us unpack this whole issue around gender-based violence because it has now taken center stage at the sauna debate uh, with mps of course accusations coming in uh, that uh, julius malema is abusing his wife and also uh, julius malema hitting back saying that president Cyril ramaphosa is also also uh, someone who has been reported to have abused his ex-late wife. But now I want to get a sense right now from the economic freedom fighters because there is a discussion currently going on in the country about how the gender-based violence issue has been used inside Parliament as a political tool to score some political points. Yes, I see. It is very disappointing that an ANC MP came out with all these allegations that uh, CIC Julius Malema is abusing his wife, and we are we are very happy that. Uh, CIC decided to take this to court. Then it will be proven in court with a judge that is neutral, and this ANC MP will have to bring proof uh, to the fact that uh, CIC has been beating up his wife. We know for a fact that it is a stunt, trying to, 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 to put uh, the name of our CIC in the mud, and it is, he's trying to score political points. But the truth will surface, and we're very proud of our CIC, because this is not the first time he's coming up to say, I have never beaten my wife. For that matter, I've never beaten any other woman. So we are challenging, challenging them for that matter to come up and say we have never done that as the men in MP a, a, ANC members to say we have never done anything like that. It's not the first time he's done that in 2018 uh, CIC. He has stand, stood in the podium and challenged the, uh, the, the MPs to say whoever has never hit his wife his girlfriend, raise your hands. That, that is a sign of being not guilty of whatever he's been alleged of. But now the nation is, of course, discussing this issue around gender-based violence and saying that how disappointed uh, the nation is that uh, gender-based violence and our victims who are watching all of this happen, uh, saying that uh, it seems as though the politicians inside are really not taking the issue around gender-based violence seriously by, of course, trying to prove points mm -hmm. that they are not abusers or they have never been involved in issues around gender-based violence. But what do you have to say to that element now? Because a lot of uh, a lot of South Africans are disappointed at this issue. Well, as a woman in a leadership position within the EFF, I actually feel that it was a very good thing for the CIC to come up and say that because it's good for men to call each other out to say every man who has been ab abusing women, come out and say it. Every man who has not been abusing women, come out and say it. Then in that way, it shows that we have men who are prepared to stand up and protect women because for the fact that he has never done anything like that, he is proud of that. And we are proud of that as well, that we still have men like him in this country where GBV is, 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 a, is a national crisis. But we still have men like CIC who are willing to stand up in, in a public podium and say, I've never done that. And it, it is good for men to call each other out so that everyone who does that must be called to order and must be exposed. So 
now Julius Malema has said that he will be suing the ANC MP boy, but what happens then if, say, the president now also tries to take legal action against his accusations and his allegations of uh, the president allegedly abusing his late ex-wife? Well, uh, CIC did not fumble in saying that he has proof. He said it clearly that even the, the, the previous, the former president, uh, Jacob Zuma, is, it does know about that. Uh, the late wife of, of the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, actually approached Jacob Zuma and told him about this. So CIC has proof. Unlike this, this, this boy, Mama Bolo guy, he has no proof of what he is saying. So if, if, if CIC is called to court, he has proof. He will state his proof. He will come up with evidence. So we are not bothered about that at all. All right, thank you very much, Ms. Nguenya from the EFF. That's where we have to leave it with you. Thank you so much for your time. But, of course, uh, Kathy, the EFF uh, not shaken and standing firm in their view that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa is someone who has been implicated in reports where he has allegedly abused his late ex-wife. We are also awaiting confirmation, of course, from the ANC to respond to these allegations by the economic freedom fighter leader, Julia Smalema, who has now taken legal action, of course, against uh, ANC MP Mamabolo.